Castroneves, a.k.a. Spider-Man. Spider-Man just became the fourth driver in history to win the Indy 500 four times, and he's joining us fresh off that big day at the Brickyard. Good to see you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. I love the background, by the way. That's perfect. And uh, what a day was yesterday. I have to say, uh, right now here, city at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it's, and, and seeing the images, uh, I, I obviously have not have a chance yet to see it. We've been kind of like nonstop, and uh, uh, it's still, uh, it's still a, a great moment, no question. It was a heck of a race for, for folks who enjoy racing. I mean, you won that thing by, by what, a half a second? Yeah, I know. It's absolutely incredible. You know, as you mentioned on the, in the beginning, uh, there are so many young guys uh, out there, but you know what? We, we old guys still can teach these, these young kids a, a few lessons, you know, so it was absolutely <laughs> incredible. And uh, but again, you got to remember, this is a long race. There is a lot going on. There is a drafting, as you can see right now. And be, whoever leads always have a little bit of tendency to lose a little bit of speed. So that's why the guy in the back have uh, uh, an opportunity. But I tell you what, when I made that pass and I saw traffic in front of me, I said, you know what, this is my cue. I got to make a pass right it. now because uh, I got to make it happen. So it's fantastic. I mean. Being in, a, in this amazing group of guys, there's only three guys were able to do it, which is uh, Alan Sr., A.J. Foy, and uh, Rick Mears. And now, yesterday, we were able to join this club. This is absolutely incredible. How would you describe the energy there? We saw you scaling the fence there, a.k.a. Spider-Man. <laughs> what was the energy uh, like there with so many thousands of people uh, all together again post-pandemic? You know, last year we didn't have the fans. It was kind of like a bit sad. We were able to make the race, but it was a little bit strange. But again, when you have 135 and it was only 40%, you mm -hmm. know, uh, imagine when this place is about 250 or 300,000 people, it's, it's incredible. But the energy was so amazing. And I kind of like take that energy from the fans and, 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 and suck it and put it into the, the race car. And I, that's absolutely incredible. I tell you what. Uh, it was amazing uh, seeing everyone, and I and a lot of people always stop by and say, "I want, I wanted the number four, number four. I was like, "I know, I want it too, but you know, those those guys make it hard for me to make it happen." But uh, what a great moment! What an incredible, incredible uh, race! And uh, I still kind of uh, in the cloud right now. You definitely did it for all the fans there, Elio. Take us back to that moment, though, behind the wheel. I know we're talking about milliseconds here to make your decision, but how did you ultimately make the move and take the lead because it was so close? Yeah, basically, uh, when I noticed uh, uh, the guy in front of me, I mean, Palou, he was doing an incredible job. And uh, his car was really fast. But as soon as I saw an opportunity, I said, you know what, I got to take it. Because it was two laps to go. I, I was kind of like planning around. And, uh, and, and when I saw that opportunity, I said, if I don't make it now, I'm going to finish second again. And I finished second already three times. I know I won. This was my fourth time. But I said, that, that is it. I'm not going to finish second again in this situation. And, uh, and I went for it. So the awesome. car was able to accept as well. So AutoNation Series car was so, so awesome. You know, to do things over 230 miles an hour, you yeah. got to have a car. you got to trust the car. And, uh, and I had it. There's no room for error. Here's the thing, Elio, and you alluded to this. This has been quite the year for elder sportsmen. I mean, <laughs> first we had that guy named Tom Brady who wins the Super Bowl north of 40. Then a few weeks ago, a guy named Phil Mickelson wins the PGA Championship at 50. And now we've got a four-time Indy yeah. 500 winner. What about next year? Are we going to go for five? <laughs> At 47 years old? You know, everybody put a labels on age. You know what? Uh, this DNA of days, I mean, you, you, you work hard. You, you make sure you, uh, you get yourself prepared. And, uh, I mean, you're still able to make it happen. Absolutely. You know, when you have a passion and love, why not to make it happen? So uh, I, uh, I just love it to prove people wrong. And I guess um, yesterday was a great day for that. It sounds, like, he, sounds like he's going to be back in Indy next yeah, year, back. too. That was great. Congratulations. Thank again. you, Mr. Castroneves. Congrats again. All right. That's why he's a fan favorite, by the way. I so mean, awesome. oh, the so energy. Awesome. And Such a good guy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.